Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And as always, if you're already subscribed, thanks again so much for being here and welcome back. Today I have a quick video for you. It's my pink sugar box. This is a very budget-friendly lifestyle box. It's just $15 per month plus $5 in shipping. So yes, $20 a month. They always promise that you'll get five items with a value of $50 or more. To be honest, I don't necessarily think that I would personally pay $50 for the items because obviously I'm not picking them out for myself, but it is a fun little monthly treat and I definitely think that you're gonna get your money's worth, your $20 worth. I don't have a coupon code for you, but I do have a link that I will leave for you in the description box below. And that does help me out in terms of justifying continue to bring this box to the channel. Sometimes I feel like it skews a little bit young but that really does vary from month to month so we're just gonna have to see what we get this time around so inside I've just got their little um, card that always talks about how you can share the box with other people and then they have started doing a little like miniature product card which is just like printed out on a label which I always think is kind of interesting so it looks like we always have a featured brand which is another thing that I do appreciate and it looks like we've got a good assortment of items this time you guys so let's go ahead and and take a look. So the first item is something that appears in a lot of subscription boxes and it is a sheet mask by Face Story. This one says Save Our Skin SOS Super Skin Power. It's a restoring mask with royal jelly and it's got kind of this like cartoon Wonder Woman on it. So that's pretty self-explanatory. I have kind of shifted. I was trying to use more sheet masks and I finally realized what it is that I don't really like about them, which is like trying to fit them around my eyes and on my nose and around my mouth and everything. So I really like the ones that are just the little like patches that go under your eyes so these always make great little treats and they're a really nice little thing that you can actually send to friends in the mail right without much fuss because it doesn't take up a lot of room in an envelope but I will uh, still continue to use some of them but I finally did figure out why I don't necessarily use them as much as I probably should so that's a great little item for sure the next thing is in a little organza bag it looks like fancy paper clips so let's see what it actually is I'm gonna open it up Oh, they're earrings. That's cool. I thought they were paper clips. They kind of, I feel, feel like you could probably use them as paper clips. So here they are. They're like triangles, you guys. Doesn't it seem like you could use them as a paper clip? I don't know. It just seems kind of like they don't have any like of the little, um, little plastic ends on them to like kind of keep them in place but I guess if you like sit that angle right in your ear then it's not going to go anywhere. I'll have to try these. They seem very like basic, very like urban but um, they're very lightweight for sure. We'll see. I'll, I'll give them a try but otherwise I'll definitely show you over on Instagram up a little closer. I would definitely prefer them of course if they were in gold. I feel like it would make them look less like paper clips um, but they are pretty neat so let's see. They don't include any retail value in this box but again you just have to kind of like decide if you feel like it's worth the $20 all right this is kind of cool so it's a 3d massager it came in a little bag and this is also in silver it says for face and body care so I guess it's kind of like a uh, jade roller meets gua sha without any like moving parts it sells says helps to lift and tighten skin activating skin cells improving blood circulation and speeding up skin metabolism so that's kind of the idea between behind gua sha's and 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 face rollers right so let's see oh it does have kind of moving parts so it is silver kind of looks like a razor almost and then it's got these like disco balls at the end you guys and these do actually rotate so that's kind of interesting I guess so that you can like slide it against your skin against your face and it's just like a hard plastic it does it it's not very heavy like a jade roller kind of feels kind of heavy but it does feel really good I could see how this would be nice like going up and down your spine or like on the back of your calf if you have sore calves as well um so you could really use it as a body massager I think as well as maybe using it on your face so because I would probably stick to the like natural stones for my actual face but that's kind of a cool thing so it just says 3d manual face massager so but I think you could use it to massage other parts that's my personal opinion so that's kind of a cool item and then we have got a steamed ylang ylang linen spray and it's that's 
nice. I like a linen spray or a room spray. I was actually looking for one just the other day. You'd think that I would have them all organized in my house, but I don't. Uh, so this is in the scent of snowflake dust and it's just a little sprayer. So that's kind of good to just put in the laundry room or buy your laundry or maybe in a sock drawer that might need a little like linen spray love. Um, so let me just give this a sniff. So it's very, very faint, but you can kind of smell that like earthy, earthy ylang ylang scent to it, which isn't bad necessarily, but I usually like a little more like fresh, like beachy, like actual I did the laundry kind of scent, um, but it's not bad. It's like a curious name to me to call it snowflake dust when that is the actual scent. Like when I think snowflake dust, I don't know, I think of something like very like wintry and like piney or something, but um, it is nice actually. I might use it more as like a room spray, I think, than like a linen spray. So that's a cool item though to receive in a box. So again, we are only at four items and I feel like, you know, it's a really nice variety and again I think we are getting our value so we are, got that like linen spray we got the face mask we got this uh, 3d manual face roller and we got those uh, paper clip like earrings and then the final item is uh, their featured brand of the month which has actually appeared in pink sugar box before so um, you know I've been subscribed for a while when it's, there's a repeat it's from nuts about candles it's a frostbite scented glitter candle now that is another interesting name but I get that they're kind of doing the like the wintry theme uh, we'll see if this one actually smells a little bit more like what it sounds like although I don't think I want to smell frostbite because that's an actual serious injury um, so it <laughs> just came in a nice little silver tin like this so they are known for their super sparkly glittery candles the last one I got from them in pink sugar box was like bright pink almost like holographic on top and this is also very very shiny you guys are probably not going to be able to see it here on camera maybe I could oh there we go got a little light on it I'll try to do my best to show you over on Instagram as well get some like natural light on it so that just makes it fun right it kind of adds to the glow when you do light the candle let's see what it smells like so that actually smells lovely. It does not smell like a serious injury. It's kind of, it's almost got like a fruity scent to it. So again, it doesn't necessarily smell like winter to me, but I'm not sure what it is, but it does maybe have like a little more like piney essence to it at the same time. Um, I wish they would actually tell us what the uh, like essential oils or fragrance is in there instead of uh, just calling it frostbite. Let's see if it actually says. It doesn't. It just tells us that it's a four ounce hand poured soy candle made in Atlanta. So I think that's a great item. You guys know that I enjoy getting candles in any subscription box and um, candles aren't cheap. So I feel like this candle is definitely covering like at least half the the you know the cost of the box. And all the other stuff is really great too. Actually, there wasn't anything in this box that I was like, I would never use or never want to pass on to someone else. So pretty strong box, honestly, from a pink sugar box this time around. And it didn't necessarily feel super young to me either this time, which I also appreciate. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite item was. And if you appreciated this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And hopefully I see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.